Hello Georgia Pants here. Today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. I am only going to make one but they're all different and the only difference is, is this um, looking at it it's the left hand side. This one has just got a plain Daffodil Delight edge. This one I've used the detailed die on the edge and this one I used a punch. So today I am actually going to use the punch. This has got 3D flowers. I'm not going to do them. I'm going to do it plain like this. So that's how I'm going to do uh, the card. I'm going to use this edge but the flat card. So to make that we're using the Happy Birthday stamp set which is a free celebration and we're going to use the cake and the to you and then itty bitty birthday for happy birthday. Card, I have a card base of five and five eighths by, no, a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of five and five eighths by two and three quarters, yeah, by two and three quarters. And I have a daffodil piece at one and a half by five and five eighths. So first we need to stamp the cake so that the ink can dry. And we're going to stamp that very carefully on here. It just goes on with a little tiny border either side. put enough ink on that but it'll be fine. Right. Put in this stamp. So that's like that. Now I've got some little strips here. I have left over from I've got hundreds of these. I have left over from um, when I cut the card out and I'm going to use them to do the sentiments. So I want a small to you, and I think this is upside down, oh, no it's not, and then I want a happy birthday. Like that. So stamping done, we'll sort them out afterwards and we'll let that dry. Now this, I am going to use a Martha Stewart punch. I think it's a Martha Stewart punch, it is. And you can use whatever punch you want. <coughs> ah, you're going to make this. Lining it up and we have I don't know why that's there, I must have just misjudged it. But I'm not panicking about it because I can just snip these bits out. There you are. 
So this is just a way where you can either have it plain, use dies, and that will go on there like that. At the side of it. Which I think looks quite nice. So what we'll do, I'll write it, we'll glue this on our card piece. Garbage. Make sure we've got it the right way, and leaving a little gap top, bottom, and to the side. Little gap, a nice border. And just lay that down. And once I've coloured this in, like I said, that will go down on there like that. I think that'll look quite pretty. Right, to colour this in, I've got Granny Apple Green Light to do all the leaves. Makes a change from old olive. Husband snoring again. He always falls asleep in the afternoon. Really annoying when you're trying to record. But it's a bit old to be sent to his room. Can't do that to him. Just goes to show how boring my voice is. Right, I think that's all the leaves. I know these ones. Just pulling these out and the, the way they're sitting on the table, right? I'm using rich raspberry light for the. Well, that looks dark. It's not, it's light. And I'm going to do the centre of these dark. Uh, I've got pink now for the flowers. Obviously this isn't pink pirouette that it was supposed to be when I purchased it. As I've re-inked it using Blushing Bride. I didn't have any pink pirouette reinker. Don't know how many times I've said that. But could be someone new watching.
Oh, my sister's been and gone on her first visit. Her first visit, her last visit. It was really nice seeing her. And she had a real crafty weekend. A week. She even sorted out my scrap box for me. Right, I'm going to use some flirty flamingo light just to add a bit of colour in where these are highlighted. Just in the middle. And on these folds. Like that. Now for the stand, I'm using Smoky Slate and Smoky Slate Light and Dark. So with the dark, I'll just go in a little bit. And then same with the stand, just go around the edge and take it in a bit. And then with the light, we just take it in but not complete the circle. Right, the cake. I'm using dark Daffodil Delight and I'm just going to take it in just a bit, not complete. And I'm going to do the same this side. Just Sorry about that, that was UPS with my stamping up order. Right, I've got the light daffodil, which I'm colouring in now. And what I'm doing is changing the in nib size is taking it up and just leaving a very thin line blending this in a bit there. Is this? Light daffodil. Seems to be a big difference in I think My nibs are going on these. Right, and that was how I 
colour the cake in. If you leave the line, it looks like it's bevelled and the icing is quite shiny, so it's like giving off a shine. So we just need to stick this on here. that then with our sentiments so I'm going to cut that there and that there and this one I'm going to cut there So they just need placing down there on dimensionals. So let's put two on there, two small ones. They just fit. And Three big ones on there. Take the backings off. And we're going to stick this one at the side here. Just there, and the little one to you. Across like that. And now we need some gems. I never got them out. Silver, oh god. So I put three up here, and one in the middle of each flower. And that is our card complete. Bring it closer. Don't you think that looks pretty? I do. And like I said, you can have it plain. A different colour. Or with an edgelet dye. Same layout, just different patterns which I think looks quite nice well, I hope you like that if you do good thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe um, if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more cards I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon